Raspberry jam? Okay, that's better. We got 71,000 runes, by the way. Nice. Don't you get raw meat dumplings when you kill them? Yeah, there is something meaty when you kill them. It's true. Ah, good. I was waiting for you. Oh, what a sick way to fight, eh? Yeah. The glory of the clash is shared by Radan and you. And <laughs> did you see that afterwards? A falling star right before our eyes. I can't fathom how Radan was holding back something of that scale. He was a living legend if ever I saw one. And the path has now been cleared to Nokra, where Rani's fate would be decided. Let's meet where the falling star bit the earth. We'll take up our swords once more for Mistress Rani. So he wants to meet where the star hit the earth. Okay. Which way did it say? Which way did it go? Did it change the map? I don't even know where it hit. Let's meet where the fallen star bit the earth, and we'll go into battle. My only purpose is to fight the curtains rising. All right. Very neat. We could turn the entrance there, and we also got a nice little travel point. Are there other NPCs that could have been here at the end with me? Like those ones that were ghosty. Do I have a chance to meet them before coming here, maybe? I don't know. I'm not sure. Star Scourge Radon. Why is it saying that he's here? Isn't that weird? All right, so when we, uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. When we get back, we're gonna probably go back to here and see uh, what we can do with that great rune. And um, did I get another item besides the great rune or just the great rune? I don't even know. I think it was just the great rune, right? There was so much happening all at one moment. So in any case, um, that was epic. That was amazing. Thank you for watching with me. Oh, the usual remembrance. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got a remembrance. Let's see. Let's take a look at it. Where do remembrances go? Let me guess, key items. No? My goodness, my goodness. I never know where the items are. It's a consumable. Of course. Why would it not be? Of course, there's no tab for consumable. Tool. It is a tool. Remembrance of the Star Scourge. The Red Lion General wielded gravitational powers, which he learned in Celia during his younger days. All so he would never have to abandon his beloved but scrawny steed. That's so great. That is great. He did it all for his little pony. And there's a ship out there. Do you see the ship? Interesting. All right, we're going to explore all... You got a kitty cat. I do. Did you only have two two NPCs here? Like yes. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if there were other stories that would have led here. Yeah, I only had two. And isn't this interesting? When I do this, it says Scar Stor Star Scourge Radon. I think that's the name of the point. Oh, that's just name of the name of the point? Okay. Yeah. And that's telling you the other two NPCs up there. Yeah, look at the ship out here. That's great. I like that. Probably can't go there. This is where New World starts, you know? Yeah. You get shipwrecked and you start on that beach. Man, we used magic, we used the axe, we used the great bow in that fight. Man, it was awesome. 
Hey, sassy. Have I killed the dragon? I have killed three, I think. Yeah, and I ran away from a whole bunch today. Your mom was telling us, uh, Sassy, about your uh, your first day of playing Elden Ring. I said she should have recorded it because it sounded hilarious. All right. Let's, uh... Let's go see what we can get with the Remembrance. We have 71,000 runes. I don't want to, like, mess it up. Receive equipment of champions. Ooh, this is new. Oh, what? What? The golden lion is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord and his beast regent, Sarash. 24 months is utterly amazing! What? Hail the conquering hero! <laughs> Two years of subbing! Hope you're doing well, Bog. Thank you! Hope you're doing well as well. Well, thanks for the 24 months. Enjoy your royal otter badge. Welcome to the stream. All right, so the golden lion is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast regent, Sarash, from his younger years. Radon was naturally captivated by the Lord of the Battlefield. There's his helmet. Radon inherited the furious flaming red hair of his father, Radagon, and is fond of its heroic implications. I was born a champion's cub. Now I am the Lord of the Battlefield's lion. And then you have his bracelet, bracers as well. And you can also buy more spears, I guess. Nice. And from his remembrance, oh, his great sword, <clears throat> curved great sword of black steel, a pair of weapons decorated with a lion's mane motif. Radon earned considerable renown as the st star scourge in his youth and is said that it was during this time he engraved the gravity crest upon these blades. You can use Starcaller Cry, bring the two swords together and roar into the skies, pulling in enemies with a gravitational wave. Follow up to slam down with gravity infused swords. Hmm, nice. And then after I put all those points in that other bow, here's a bow. Imbued with gravitational power of Star Scourge, when used along with Radon's spear, it becomes a true weapon of a champion. You can use Radon's rain, archery skill performed from a low stance. It fires a flurry of arrows into the sky, and then it rains. So this takes strength and dex. Wow. Okay, I guess it makes sense. He uh, he requires some intelligence, huh? Because it it's magic-y. Magic-y. I'm too dumb for Radon's weapon. Wow, I am I am curious about this helm. This helm looks amazing. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Okay. Anybody else think I'm cool? Ah, well then. Anybody else think what I did was awesome? They're like, nah. Journey to the capital, laying down the two fingers. You may be our bet. Nobody cares. General Radan, the he fought and by my. No, 
I don't... Oh, what did he say? General, he fought Malin and by my reckoning, Redan. No. I don't... No. He, he does not remain there now. Come on, people. Keep up with the news. They don't keep up with the news here. Oh, no. <laughs> no. They say it isn't so. Give me a letter. Oh no. Skulldrak, thanks for the bit. Letter written in a trembling hand. I forgot to tell you, but it seems D has a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nakron, and it's said he stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond, beyond that spot. Maybe we could find Dee's brother. Glenstone Sorcerer Roger's pointed hat, a sign of heretical practitioner strength, strengthens Glenstone sorcery skills. Roger spent his entire life behave, behaving with utter detachment. No one noticed the anger, grief, regret, or fear that existed along with it. Glenstone Sorcerer Roger's traveling attire. This also strengthens Glenstone Sorcery. Oh, interesting. I just want to put it on. Just remember him one last time for now. Spellblades gloves. Oh man, he's got little pointed shoes. There you go. Look at a little, look at a little dingle near my face. That would that would annoy the crap out of me. Dingle, dingle, dingle. And then we got a bell bearing from him. Hey. <sighs> so let's go put the bell bearing on the vendor. I could understand doing this once or twice, but 77 times? Jeepers! Pretty sure that is just Logan's big hat. Even Souls characters play fashion souls. That's right. <laughs> Thank you, Lord La La La, for the 77. Who is that again? Roger. Here's the guy helping us. So there we go. Now we got his spells in there. I guess I didn't need it because I already bought everything from him. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Okay. Spirit tuning. Do we want to get a hug? I guess we'll go in for one hug here. See if she's got any new dialogue. Would you like now? Go in for a hug. Go chicken, go! Oh, 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 oh. You are so very warm. Very, very warm. Thank you for the Baldekin's blessing. Hey, may I ask a favor? We got something new. My dear, might I ask something of you? Okay. Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? Weather dagger. A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. Is she meaning? So I would like for the original owner to have it back. If you wouldn't mind. Do you mean like kill the person? It has a special place in the owner's heart? Is that what you mean? 
I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you, and return it to them. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. That is so... That is... I love the way they worded that. It's like sinister, but it's also like, is she just being nice and innocent, or is she... Then good day to you. Talking about, like... I like how you could show up here in a different outfit every single time and they still know who you are. Uh, okay. Hmm. Dagger. Where's the dagger? Right here. Dagger received from Fia, the deathbed companion. She wishes for it to be returned to its rightful owner. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but it is now worn down and marred with by a black gash. Okay, you have any uh I am pleased. Would you like a blessing? Would you like to be no. you have any directions for me? She puts her hands through my hat. You are so No. Okay. Good day to you. All right, I'll go try to do that. Imagine a quest like that in real life. Here is a baseball. It's special to someone. Can you make sure you return it to them? All right, let's put our outfit back on. All right, we got to level up. I've got too many souls. Burning a hole in my pocket. I got that heavy load from the great bow now. my gear back well I took you for no matter it's lay out your arms <laughs> smithing stones level one I don't have to worry about because we can make more up that longbow let's uh spend the points what do we need one more dex for that weapon and then i get two i get two levels out of that okay two levels dex to 16 try this out. It's probably going to put me in heavy though, isn't it? The halo scythe. It did put me in heavy. Jerk. Right, maybe we put away the shield for now. I could use this shield a lot, though. Yeah, 
Maybe we put this on. Okay. And then let me. This is probably. Well, I took you for that matter. It's all upgraded with somber, off. right? Somber. Three. No, one. Not one level three. It's okay. One level four. Drop the bow. I won't ever use it if I drop. If I don't. If I drop it, that's the problem. Like I'll, I'll whip it out and use it as a utility item. But if I have to go into the menus and equip it, I'll, I can't be bothered. <laughs> So I'll do this for now. Um, I don't know how how advanced we want to make this because I don't even know if I like it. Let's go practice with it. It looks cool, and I can't change the I can't change the uh, the skill. Right, it's gonna be the the golden frisbees. There's that slice I like. It's just like the. Uh, the same move set as the golden halberd. Except that's got frisbees. It's pretty nice. Looks cool, doesn't it? Yeah, that's pretty w wicked. All right, let's level it up. Why not? Why would you not want golden frisbees? It's true. Golden frisbees is pretty good. I mean, this is a perfect weapon for us right now, too. I think it because it, it scales off of faith and strength index, and it also does the blood loss, which scales with arcane. Which we, which we, which we've been leveling a little bit of. So overall, well, I took you for no matter its length. I think it's going to be a really good weapon for us. Should I use my one smithing stone level five for this, my somber one? Yeah. Why not? We'll have to find another one if we find a different we weapon. All right, 13,000 runes. Did I buy all the stones from EG? Probably not. Let's go talk to EG. All right, let me, uh... Where we go. Great, are you here for spirit? Demi humans are good. Let's see. I have 77 FP now. That can be access to anybody else? No. Demi humans are great though. Okay. Squishy's not bad. And I also like my Norn guy. Level four. Let's do that guy. Oh, I can talk to her. I just noticed. Sorry guys, we're having a lot of equipment and stuff maintenance right now. Talk. I feel like I'm really coming to grips with spirit tuning of late. Good. I can see how and why immortal essence exists. A spirit under the golden order. I can understand their yearnings. What they become drawn to. Master Hugh said it himself actually. That I'm no mere apprentice any longer. Once again, I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Ah. Uh, Moderica, the certified spirit. She got certified. 
Curtsy. Back already, no matter. About Roderica. The girl has come a long way. As ever, time and technique have made her stronger. It is good to see. An imprisoned monster does not deserve an apprentice or a daughter. But at times, that's precisely what she feels like to me. You deserve it. You're I've good. Gone soft. And it isn't easy. Very good guy. All right. Father has now. Okay, she hasn't changed. <clears throat> all right, let's go. Let's go buy all the stuff from uh, E.G. We actually haven't talked to him in person in a while. defeated General Radan, unlocking the stars. True. The General was blighted by Scarlet Rot and driven to madness. But not long ago, he was hailed as the mightiest demigod of them all. There is no parallel to your achievement, nor to Lady Rani's acute judgment of character. Thanks to you, Lady Rani's fate once again stirs. And the path to Nokron has opened. Descend underground where the fallen star struck Limgrave and make it yours. The precious treasure of Nokron. Oh, Blythe wanted me to tell you not to bother waiting for him and head straight to Nokron. Blythe has been given an important task. Apparently, a matter of great urgency. Okay. Interesting. You need not await. Descend underground alone and make it yours, so that Lady Rani may tread the dark path of the Empyrean. Okay. All right. So he's got. All right. He has somber smithing stones. Four. Three. Okay. He's got. He's got good stuff. They're expensive though. All right, so if we need to, we'll come back here. I'm not gonna buy them now. Um, let's see if Ronnie has that. Ronnie might be asleep now, right? She did say that. This is the guy from uh, Red Great, uh, Red Main. Remember to look around for someone who might like that dagger. That's a good point. Like I don't. Hmm. Hmm. There's no hint though. I have no idea. I've talked to like everybody I've ever talked to again and see if they want it. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. The description was a hint? Special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but it is now worn down and marred by a black gash. Was it somebody at the round table hole that I just needed to talk to again?
We're looking for someone that likes gold and silver and has a black gash. I guess so. Alright, let's go. Let's go back to the castle here. Somebody likes that color scheme. Silver and gold? Silver and gold. I wonder I wonder if um Alexander goes to Jarburg afterward. Is he is he actually from Jarburg? Is there more than more than one jar city? Is this him? Can I be your potentate now? Oh, I'm happy you I have good tidings for you, cuz. Really? Have you noticed the rare flowers growing in this village? I just picked some. I asked the villagers if you could pick some of them, and they said you'd be very welcome. Oh, good. Well, I didn't pick Go any. On, cuz. Who knows? Okay. I'm allowed to pick them. Poison bloom. Oh, they got lots of flowers here. We went from killing like a, a demigod who can stop the stars in the sky to picking flowers in one stream. That's impressive. There's some uh, content whiplash going on. Are you Alexander? So who likes silver and gold and has a black gash? I wonder if it's... Is it Celibus? Alright, I picked your flowers. Go on, Kaz. Who knows? 